so it is installation time for car GPS device and uh, I have taken apart my speedometer console now I am going to try to open this fuse box by removing the panel first uh, I'll be using the auto cut feature behind this uh, fuse box the, so that uh, even in case of a mishap or a theft uh, I may be able to restrict the thief from getting away very easily and this uh, fuse box need to be taken off so I think it is a difficult task but not impossible so let me now try to open it you have to use a T-shaped spanner for opening these two bolts the black one it is difficult to operate in such this angle but still I'll be struggling to do it and complete the task today itself so here is the bolt taken out and this is this fuse box cover now this fuse box should have one more screw I think because it is not coming out this is my autocop uh, remote locking system so let me this seems to be connected somewhere else on the back side I am keeping down the camera and going to figure out what is the next screw I need to open so after trying hard and using couple of spanners I was able to remove the screw which is the back one uh, this one so now the fuse panel is almost out but it will not come very far from this place because there is a huge and there is a thick cable coming into this and there are some very extensive thick wires used for main power line you have to be very careful when handling this because a simple break in your wire will ruin your car wiring so I don't recommend this use by to be used by novice users you should seek professional help for this and uh, what I want to do is break the circuit for ECU and the positive issue is just 10 amperes uh, done through a 10 ampere fuse so this is looking safe for my own use you need to consult this with a professional uh, installer or an electrician who deals with your kind of car do not attempt this on your own if you don't know what you are doing because this is a critical electronic and electrical wiring which you should not fiddle with I'm repeating it again don't try this at home and now I'm going to just break and uh, I'll just figure out using a continuity tester then I'll try to break uh, in the put a put a cut in the wire then I'll seal it properly then I'll pull these wires up to the dashboard meter panel where I wish to install my hidden GPS so using the multimeter I was able to figure out which one is the battery positive connector for the ECU and I'll be trying to cut the power for ECU now and I'll try to start the vehicle and it shouldn't start so I've taken out the fuse already so to test when I have uh, put a cut in the ECU line and attach the relay which is supplied along the GPS tracker now I'm going to just uh, for a test purpose I'm going to remove the relay and the car should stop as you can see the car has stalled so this means the wiring I have done is correct now I just need to properly solder these joints so they don't spark and they, they are a critical uh, wiring circuit of this car so I don't want to mess with the mess with it and I'm going to stick it uh, fix it using a very good proper soldering so they don't break in any case soldering paste has been applied and now I'm waiting for my soldering iron to warm up so I can melt some 
soldering wire on this so this joint is permanent then I will tape it thoroughly I'll not take any chances because this is a critical wiring of your vehicle and I don't recommend you to use it if you don't have proper knowledge of what you are doing or you should certainly seek a professional help for installing such kind of device so I have soldered the wires which has put the ECU on series of this relay holder now this relay will be installed once I connect and do uh, the other remaining stuff for wiring this GPS on the extreme difficult way to disable it in case of a mishap so now I will wrap some proper taping on this as relay is now installed I am now uh, running the power cable and the relay trigger line for the GPS system and I'm, I have removed the meter console and now this wire will go from the behind and I will try to be as discreet as much as I can in bringing up this, these wires to the well or and I can see those wires coming off from the center uh, just above the st steering wheel and the brake paddle mechanism so I'll have to keep the camera apart uh, I'll have to stop this recording for time being because this cannot be done while having video camera on now I'm almost done with the installation of this GPS tracker and fuel cut system and this is the yellow wire which has a label of power off this yellow wire is coming directly from the GPS device I'll remove this sticker however then this is going this yellow wire is going into the yellow wire itself of the relay harness and uh, this green wires are my uh, ECU wires and uh, there is one black wire which will go to the negative and there is also a white wire coming from the relay harness this uh, should also go into the positive 12 volts for the relay to energize and cut the fuel line yes this you, you this relay basically works on a reverse uh, reverse process it will cut itself once the power is applied so once you like uh, cut the fuel supply to your car the relay will be engaged only in those times when you have that command sent to your phone uh, to your GPS device so this is the process of installing this now I have to clean up a lot because there are a lot of wires dangling and I don't want to mess with them so I'll be one by one cleaning all the wires now and putting them back into its place so I think this video should be enough for now and uh, I'll be just uh, showing you the post install pic thank you for watching